Right, so I went ahead and bought the Viper and I've got 4.34 million left. Uh, let's head into outfitting. I'll go, I'll go to weapons uh, or hard points last, yeah. Right. Uh, let's have a look at the power plants. Class 3's maximum. Now you're looking at half a million for, for each part, yeah? So I could probably afford all of them uh, like that. I'm actually just going to start with that just to see how it goes. Now, thrusters are the same. We're looking at A3s for half a million. Frame shift drive. Again, an A3. Life support. I'm not going to bother probably with the A here, yeah? It's a class 2. I'm just going to go with the D2. Uh, this oxygen time capacity is useless, practically. Um, although, granted, you could just switch it off in combat <laughs> and you would get the free power draw out of it. Um, but I'm just going to go with this D2 right now. It's uh, also got less mass. Power distributor is an... Where are we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A3 that I'm going to buy back. Right. And sensors. Probably just gonna go with these D3s again. I dislike that five extra, uh, sorry, that five ton of mass. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with these D3s for now. Now you, you do want a good shield, yeah. So I'll, I'll be, I'll be trying to get the, the best shield I can get. First, I'm gonna do swap. So you're looking at an A3 shield as well, which is not gonna be cheap either. There we go, another half million. Now, everything else is basically, you know, whatever you want. Uh, obviously, with such good shields, you're going to want a good uh, shield generator, sorry, a shield cell bank. You can stick on a, a class 3 there as well, but maybe even the class 2 is, you know, class 2 might be alright. Uh, that would let you, you know have something else, depending on, it really does depend on what you're going to be doing. If you're just going to set up as a combatant, uh, maybe it's best just to go with a, a B3 or something uh, shield cell. It's something I haven't really quite thought about yet. Right, so if we have a look at the weapons, and this really depends on what I'm going to do with my sensors, yeah, because sensors help uh, you know, targeting capabilities regarding like uh, gimbaled weapons and stuff. Maybe even fixed weapons, because fixed weapons have got a little bit of gimbal on them when you target uh, target subsystems. So really, I need to decide what what my weapon loadout is going to be. And this is, this is one of the tough things about the Viper, I think. Uh, you've got your small hard points on the top, and, and you've got your medium hard points in the bottom. This is going to be a different way of flying for me as well. Because you notice when I fly the Eagle, I generally uh, thrust downward. On the Viper, I'm going to be thrusting upward simply because these uh, these medium hard points are on the bottom, and I want to get as many good shots with these as possible. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to do yet, so it's just going to be a case of trial and error, and making sure I've got enough power and stuff like that. That shouldn't be too much of an issue, hopefully. Uh, so I'm going to try out a few loadouts just to see what I feel you know I, I'm actually getting comfortable with. Right, so I'm kind of tempted to give these gimbal beam lasers a go at the top. Half a million each, it's, it's a D2. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to give these a go at first, yeah. Now, on the bottom, uh, not quite so sure yet. I'm tempted to maybe try out, well, just maybe even stick with the missiles, yeah. Um, not sure what I think about them being on the top, though. I guess I'm probably going to do my usual chaff launcher, even though it's not really working against NPCs from what I can tell. And I'm, I think I'm probably going to go with a... I'm just going to go with a point defence. Right, so... I've got my shield. Now, I may... I probably think I should go with the A3 sensors, simply because I've got two gimbaled weapons here. 
It's going to put me a little bit over on power, but we know how it fits that by now. Oh yeah, I need a frame shift drive interdictor. Right, so... Interdictor goes in the bottom. Which means I will probably go with a much better fuel scoop, a class 3 fuel scoop. If they have any. There's a B3. Right, the question is, oh, what is the mass of the shield cell? A3 is 5 tons, not too happy about that. B3 is 8 tons, that's a lot. Uh, A2 is only 2.5. What was the B2? Four, but we know the B two has got way way more charges. Right, so I'm going to go with the B two. I probably won't need it though. That's the thing. Yeah, certainly not for hunting the big things. But if I decide to go into a combat zone, I guess the B two is by far and away the better choice. Right, so this is looking like a fuel scoop of some description. Right, we do have an A3. I'm not spending that amount of money on it though because uh, that gets me too close to my balance. So let's go with the B3 for now. Right, I need to find a megawatt and a half of power though. Uh, so this may be changing still. Right, so hatch, drive, scoop. And interdictor. It's good enough. All right, I'm gonna take these two simple ones just to, just so I can get you know back into the way things are flying this Viper. There's another one here, so I'm just gonna be killing bog standard. Yep, yeah, this should be interesting. Uh, the first time I've actually had a ship apart from the Eagle that is actually upgraded fully, you could say. Interesting. Right, so already I can see that the pitch is a little bit better than what it was. Ah, it seems to be. I don't want to waste my missiles. That's another thought. <laughs> I didn't even buy ammo for my missiles. Uh, because I'm only hunting pirates, I probably shouldn't even be using missiles. really do make a mess of these things so much. Those beam lasers are doing some decent damage to the hull, that's for sure. So I guess I should go and uh, maybe get some weapons or something. Right, let's try a couple of gimbal cannons then. Uh, seeing as I'm going to be hunting smaller ships right now. I've got the gimbal beam lasers on the bottom, so we'll try the gimbal cannons on the top. Very interesting looking ring system at Ariotti. could really see these from a very long distance. Target shields offline. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Not fully understanding this cannon. Right now, I'm fighting Sidewinders, which is actually fine right now because it's it's helping me learn. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Assist. 
Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, these are certainly the brightest rings I've been in. pointing at the screen. Something about us I just cannot get hold of. Right, so I'm going to take this assassination mission as well. Of course, I do want to try myself out against uh, an anaconda. Like we said, uh, certainly capable of blowing them away fast. Right, finally I've found out who the anaconda is. I'm just going to look for him, take him on. If I lose, I lose. I'm starting to dislike the Viper a lot again. I'm, re I'm recognising things that are not quite right about it. Right, so, sod these cannons. Um, I'm just going to go with the missiles. I mean, the cannons seemed okay, but... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely convinced. He's got a plasma accelerator. Got a lot of point defense. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to stick to the same kind of format that you know I've been successful with on the Eagle. Keeping his blind spot as much as possible. When I'm getting attacked, get the points into the systems. Now, the thing about the Viper is his shields are awesome, yeah? Be careful you don't let him get too far away. 
Now, already I feel that it's wrong because I'm trying to, uh... I'm trying to do the same as I do in the eagle, which is thrust downwards. When really I should be thrusting upwards. And this is one of the issues I'm having with the Viper. Because, you know, if I'm thrusting upwards, I'd be getting, I'd be able to fire with the, the beam lasers more. Uh, I'm going to try upwards now. Basically to move to top. So I can get a clean shot with both lasers, yeah? You can see these lasers are really taking the power, uh, my weapon power. This is a pretty easy anaconda, I've got to say. This is incredibly simple, in fact. And the reason for it is it's so much easier to stay on them without having to bother about without having to bother about your engines. That is how easy these guys are. Uh, that's just ridiculous. So that one was just stupid. Landing gear deployed. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Hard to believe that guy was worth 175,000. Right, so like I said, I'm gonna go give these resource points a go. Uh, I should maybe cash in those 66,000 first. But I think I'll be okay, so I won't bother. Bunch of sidewinders, not really what I'm in interested in, so I'm gonna go to the next one. Incidentally, though, uh, this is just a, a little hardware hint. If you look down at my bottom left, I'm getting what, about 73 FPS? Now, this is on maximum settings with one uh, difference. If I go into graphics, What I've got is shadows on medium. Now, if I put those up to high, Detected. you can see my FPS has dropped. It's actually quite a bit. Uh, that's down what, almost twenty percent, fifteen percent. So, depending on you know what kind of hardware you've got, uh, you may want to consider certainly in some of the more dense rings. If, uh, dense rings with planets uh, can sometimes. I've noticed can sometimes cause a, a big drop in frame rate. Uh, so if you find that happen, I'm actually surprised I'm getting so good here. Mm. I'm staying above 60, which is basically what you want, yeah? Um, nah, just a little dip there now. But overall, it's, it's pretty, pretty solid performance. There is a kind of stutter though that never really seems to go away. Uh, a lot of people have remarked on it. There's no question, there is a definite stutter there, even though my FPS is like 75. Right, so this is a bit more of a fight. We've got Master Co and Cobras. Under attack. You dropping chaff. Oh, the pitch in this Viper is horrible.
just cannot get used to this lack of pitch. I mean, how do you deal with it? That's, this is the thing I don't really get. It's what, what, what else am I supposed to be doing here? Creating a gap? It seems like a waste of time. I just don't get it at all. I, I don't know why. I just don't. I just don't get it. I'm pretty good at hitting with missiles, I'll grant myself that. Uh. But there's nothing here I'm doing that I couldn't do better on the eagle that I feel, yeah? The eagle would be dominating these, these ships. I feel that I must be missing something, yeah?
I'm struggling to beat an adder. I just... I'm ditching this after I'm done here. I just cannot fly this Cobra. I don't have what it takes. Every time you put flight assist off, it basically makes you fly battle, so you need to like reset your throttle. I really do not like that at all. Here's an acid test coming. An anaconda, who supposedly these guys are. These guys are way harder than the elite guys. So, let's put that one to the test. Under 
attack. Flies a little bit better, that's for sure. Right, so I'm going to be concentrating here. Not really doing an awful lot of damage to my shield, in all honesty. I'm going to use a cell anyway because I've got pretty low to start with against them. I don't have very many missiles either, yeah. Tend to turn a little bit more, a little bit better, these guys, I think. But that turret uh, multi cannon he's firing, that's no good at all. That's not even gonna scratch my shield. I'm having a few power issues, yeah? Weapons wise, again. That's a wild one. Still hurt though, I think. <laughs> right, so it's the same kind of thing. You've got to make sure you've got, you know, you've got your pips in your engines so that you don't want them turning on you. So it's exactly the same, basically, as the as the eagle. Uh, the difference is you've got naturally faster speed in the in this. Right, there's a chance of them turning on me here, so I'm going to have to boost again. He's definitely better than the elite guy, yeah. Uh, at least he's not a sitting duck. But the firepower he carries is just doesn't seem to be on par. Uh. Right, so I'm out of myself. So this last fifty percent could be interesting. All those missiles are wasted against that adder. Once again, though, I find the downward thrust so much easier. Uh, I'm gonna use my shield cell. Oh, that's not good. Target I'm gonna open up a little bit of a gap. Oh. 
So many weapons issues. Tank so much more damage on the Viper. I need a shield cell again. bizarre how we just suddenly seem to get better or maybe I just got worse. Getting rid of these beam lasers though because they're just not doing it. That was pretty poor by me. Clearly I'm making this hard for myself, yeah, not having enough missiles is, is what's got me into this mess. Uh, I'm just going to try and nuke them down. Oh god no, that's not good. fire is horrific. I just cannot keep these lasers going. Another mistake. I'm just gonna finish him off now though. Target destroyed. 
Well, I made a meal of that one. Right, so where to start with that? I think probably the best place to start is these beam lasers. They obviously hit really hard, uh, but the power the power draw is just it's too much. Yeah, I mean, you maybe get five seconds worth of firing if you can get a shot. Yeah, and that brings me to my next point. Having the medium hard points on the bottom basically makes it, you know, thrusting upward is, is better, yeah? But the problem with thrusting upward is you've got the cockpit below you, right? So you can see less. Uh, you want to always be thrusting downwards so that you've got, you know, the, the actual the, the canopy above you uh, and you, you can see a lot more. Uh, this is one thing I really dislike about the Viper, having the better weapons on the bottom. Now, any other ship I've flown, like the Cobra, the Adder, the Eagle, they're basically, well, the Eagles sort of the same everywhere, yeah? But the Adder's got the medium hard point on the top, the Cobra's got two medium hard points on the top. Uh, so that's like that's another reason that I'm not super keen on it. Um, the big one, though, that pitch rate, just... I will never be used to that. Now, understand that the whole point of it is, well, you're a fast chap, you're very quick, you can just, you know, turn and, you know, open up a gap. I can't be bothered opening up a gap when I'm fighting an adder or an eagle. Yeah, I just want to blow them away and then, or, you know, sort of dance around them. It's the small ships that's the problem, yeah? Not so much the big ones. Fighting that anaconda at the end, uh, you can see it's much better than the elites that I normally fight, yeah? And obviously, the way I blew that elite away with the two missile racks was, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be simple for farming or something like that, yeah? But it's the small ships that's getting to me, yeah? Like, the, uh, that adder that I fought was just farcical, you know, Towards the end, it was just I could have just reset my PC. It was it was lasting so long. Uh, the reason uh, it was probably really boring for you as well, but I just wanted to show you just how badly I was toiling there at that point. Um, I'm just never going to get used to it. I wonder if it's a, a, a keybind thing as well. Uh, I think I could fly it a lot better with a joystick. Yeah. Um, although I did used to believe that about the Eagle too. So maybe it's just a practice thing. I must admit, I kind of went into it uh, not really feeling great about it, and I complained a lot during the video, as you probably noticed. I just don't enjoy it. I, just, I, I comes round to it, I just don't enjoy it. Um, so, the Cobra's getting a chance next. If I don't enjoy this Cobra, I'm going back to this Eagle, and I'm just going to play with the Eagle, because I, I love the way that ship handles. Uh, and I, I'm just going to have to put up with the fact that it's, it's you know, really slow. But anyway, I hope, you know, you got something out of this one. I had intended this video to be part of my trading video, but both of them lasted way longer. This is also why there was a, there was a gap between, you know, my last videos, because <laughs> I played I played quite a lot, you know. Between this and the trading, I have a lot of hours into it, um, but it's just not quite working. It just didn't quite work out the way that I had hoped for it to work out.